Lately, I've been using this new AI workflow using ChatGPT that saved me maybe four to five hours a week when it comes to creating any type of content, especially with writing copy. Let me show you how it works. So a lot of us use ChatGPT obviously for content remixing or coming up with unique content from a source. So here is a blog post from Google. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a newsletter or a section of my newsletter about this. And I wanna get a quick outline for a video idea and maybe later a YouTube description. I could do all of that with with this workflow kind of in one motion. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, click this little icon, and this is called Harpa AI. It's a Chrome extension. So as long as you're using Chrome on your browser, on PC or Mac, you're gonna be able to install this for free. So you could again get it from harpa.ai. I've covered this in a different video, but it's one of my favorite, if not my most favorite extension when it comes to using any type of AI on the web. And it's gonna give you a bunch of different options. So chat with a page is one of my favorites. And I used to use this one called repurpose page, but now I use a different workflow. I click right here where it says long summary. Before I do that, down here, if you click this little option, you could actually choose a different model. So the free version, you could log in with your OpenAI account, you're gonna get 3.5. I logged in with my OpenAI account and I have the GPT-4, so I'm gonna choose that but they do have other options too. So they have Gemini, you could even put in your own API here, they have Claude. So I've been using Claude 2.1 for the bigger context window, for example, and I'm experimenting with Gemini to see when it's gonna be more useful. So you could quickly switch, but for the most part, I'm gonna use GPT-4. I'm gonna click this long summary here, and this basically gives me an intro paragraph typically, and it gives me kind of a bullet point of what this page is all about. And it's usually a pretty good summary, but not good enough for me just to take it and put it in a newsletter. It's not quite there yet. It needs some fine tuning. And I don't do the fine tuning here, although you can. There's a bunch of different commands here that you could choose and then refine it here. But what I do is I go to my ChatGPT account next. And what's really useful is that chat conversation comes to your ChatGPT account. They're connected, so Harpa is the Chrome extension that's basically like the co-pilot for the web, but then it brings it right over here. Here's my key takeaway and the summary. Now, here's where it really gets interesting. I don't really have to even create a single prompt after this to remix this for all the different purposes that I need it for. What I do instead is I'm gonna type in the at mention sign. I've created different GPTs to do all the different things that I do throughout the day or throughout the week. So. The AI newsletter, I send that out once a week. So all I have to do is click over here and then I'm gonna say create a section. And basically what I've trained inside of that custom GPT, this is one of my own private ones. It basically comes up with a really good title for me that I could just use on top. And then it breaks it down into a better version or better formatted version and it uses some of my training on how to write. So the tone and the style of my writing too. In this case, it might be a little bit too long, so I still haven't quite refined it enough. So I usually do a little bit of revision. This is one of the more recent ones I've created. So I might wanna either manually do some editing or then go ahead and refine that GPT, which I've covered creating GPTs in different videos. But here's what's really interesting. Now I could press that mention sign again and do the next thing. So come up with a video idea, right? So I'll just say, give me a YouTube title. So this video, uh, spark or this video idea spark is just specifically to give me ideas for YouTube videos or the title for them, how Google's partnership with Reddit revolutionizes AI and data sharing. So this could be it. I don't like this beginning part. So I'll just refine that GPT to make sure it doesn't give me anything with like a semicolon. And again, this one I'm refining and I give a ton of different titles that I've created and other people I've created and I've trained it with that to know how to come up with a YouTube video idea. Then I'm gonna just use something that I didn't create. So this Dolly, right, it's inside of GPT. You don't technically have to use it. But now I say create a YouTube thumbnail. And I usually say create one without text. Sometimes it doesn't listen to me. So you may wanna create your own GPT again here using Dolly as the engine that drives it, but then give it more custom instructions. And he came up with a couple of different ideas for me without text. So this is pretty cool. And a lot of times I use these images here as the background of my thumbnail. And then I still put myself in the foreground in Canva or Photoshop and I still do text because Dolly can't quite do text very well yet. But this is a really great option for kind of a background on a thumbnail and it's in the right thumbnail shape again because I said thumbnail and Dolly knows that, but I've created another one called Thumbnail Wizard, for example, 
where he understands a lot more with our color palettes and the way we like to create thumbnails. So I've trained that GPT. So basically the workflow of using Harpa, ju just to summarize the page or chat with the page and get the content, open up chat GPT, and then use all those different custom GPTs that you create right inside of the same chat. So now I'm gonna take it for a blog post, a YouTube description. I have different GPTs for that. And we recently created a whole course on custom GPT. So all these different GPTs that are created, I show you how to do that. Anything related to action, automations, anything that's possible with GPTs, I covered that in a course on our e-learning platform, Skill Leap AI. So you get access to that along with 20 other AI courses and we release new ones all the time. So I'll link that below as well. I hope you found this new workflow useful and I'll see you next time.